Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds, got Luke Simons, like diamonds, back on. Last episode, we did a couple cool things about how to go out there and do some pre-trip planning, like how to go find the right spot at the right time. And one thing that we kind of noticed ourselves is what Google is doing in terms of their new benefits and new features and additions on the satellite maps. And it kind of even surprised us a little bit. We'd heard, heard about it, we'd seen it a couple of times and it just happened to be the spot that we showed in Venice, Florida uh, had this feature. And so we're gonna cover two really cool new features that they are adding that will help you go out there and find new fishing spots from the comfort of your home. I mean, it, it literally changes everything about pre-trip planning, doesn't it, Luki? Absolutely. And, um, and so map reading has always been good. Like ever since they really started using satellite maps, um, you know, and just providing them online, we've, we've been using them. They're game changers and it's just been getting better and better and better. And so these new releases has made it just even, even better. And uh, in particular, you're going to see some stuff for, for land-based fishermen that is extremely helpful. That's game changing it, as well as kayakers, but also for boaters. Like they literally have boaters like boats going out filming and taking pictures so there's like the boat trails and so we're going to show you just how to use it in this video yep and you know because you'll see them it'll the boat will say usually a sailboat is what they use and it says prestige worldwide <laughs> <laughs> and a third of the interview slide movie, in a movie quote three movie buffs out there hopefully you guys leave in the comments if you know what movie that is from uh yeah. anyhow let's uh you want to throw on a little satellite map there a little share screen yeah, let's do you guys it. So, listening, we're going to walk you through what we're looking at here. So uh, Luke just pulled up a uh, Google satellite map and uh, we're looking at Sebastian Inlet, which is the east coast of uh, Florida, very popular inlet for, uh, for catching really big fish. Yeah. And so and what this is, this is the normal Google Maps. This is not Google Earth. There's, there's, those are two different platforms. This what's the, what's the to, difference, by the way? So those well, if you go to Google.com, Google Earth is an app. And, uh, and, and Google Maps is just a web-based platform. So if you go to google.com and search for any city and hit enter, you'll see a map on there and that's Google Maps. So that's all, it's literally the simplest map system to use. And it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, it, it's the one, it's my go-to one. I use a bunch of different map systems because you never know exactly which one has the best clarity for any, any, any given spot. Um, but this one is the, like the, the one I start with. So. So what we did is just we're looking at Sebastian Inlet. Um, and the cool thing is, is that obviously you can zoom, zoom around, pan, everything's super easy. But this little guy, there's a little, little uh, person, like a little yellow person emblem in the bottom corner. And that's where, the, that's where this, the newest stuff has been added. And what you do is you just grab it, grab the person. And then when you start dragging it around, you'll see blue lines or blue dots. Ooh, Anything look. blue that I pops up. That there's a dot out there like in the middle of the water almost yeah so any, anything and so this is normal for roads like this has been out this has been available for roads for a long time a lot of people don't even know that though but uh, what's new is they've actually started doing it for for for, uh, for beaches and even even fishing spots so just check out the road like if you want to see what this this area looks like from the top of the bridge you literally just drag that little yellow person onto the bridge and now you can see what's happening right you can look around like some bikers out there <laughs> I had no idea. It looks like this guy's looking at the camera. Um, but yeah, so you can just go, go and see exactly what this, uh, this looks like in real life. And you can pan around, you can zoom around, or I can literally walk down the bridge. And essentially, this is like mimicking that we're walking down. And you can pan anywhere. You can stop, you can zoom in. It's, it really is remarkable. And to get out of it, just click the little exit button in the top right corner, and you're out. And so that was the road, right? Another cool thing is the beach. Right, we'll check out what's the, what does the beach look like. Put them right down there on that blue line on the beach. And now we're sitting on the beach. Looks like a really high tide. And you can see, yeah, you can see this guy's hiking. So you can actually see, <laughs> you can see how they do it. They have a guy <laughs> hiking hilarious. out there and he's, he's got a backpack with a big camera sticking out of it. So if, if you guys are listening, you, you know, you can see this dude's shadow and he's got, he's like got two ski poles <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and uh, looks like, Kind of like a sun protection hat, a wide brim hat, and you could see the camera on the back while he's hiking. That is hilarious. Yeah. No telling. Actually, I, I'm, I'm wondering how far he, I was going to say no telling how far he hiked, but I guarantee you we're going to be able to find that out. And I'll show you how to measure distance here in a second. But so right now, for those watching, I'm just clicking on the map and it's lit we're literally walking down the beach. We're following this guy's trail. And uh, so if we really wanted to see how it looked 
coming up to the uh, the inlet, right? We have this is the South Jetty, very popular fishing spot. We can see exactly how it looks from the beach, right? Can you access it from the beach or not? Um, instead of having to call the people to figure it out, just get on the maps and just zoom in and look for yourself. This is this has been uh, this is just such an amazing platform. Let me see how close we can get to it. Yeah, I feel I feel like we're there. This is a uh, this is wild. I wish, there was a, I wish there was a fast forward mode. Um, but yeah, so pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So, so what are you, what are you doing right now? What are you just clicking the up arrow? No, I'm just clicking. I'm just clicking on the map. So click in whatever direction you want to okay. go, and that's and they'll start going that way. So pretty awesome. Looks like that's pretty awesome. And so the cool thing too is if you don't know the rules for any given area, you can literally get on this view and just zoom in on the map. And okay, okay, here's here's the at least the the flags. So this will show <laughs> what the flags are. So if there's like uh, if you're worried about fishing off of a pier to see if like fishing's allowed or not, right? If you're going to like, if you're on vacation, you want to go out to a new spot and you just want to say, okay, can I even fish here? Or can I launch, launch a kayak from here? You just get on this lowest level view, find find the sign, right? There's If there's going to be no fishing, there's definitely going to be signs for it. And you can see if they're there or not just from this view. All right, yeah. well, here's the next trick. Keep going out and see if we can keep going out on the, oh, yeah, go back there. So Luke made it all the way down. We walked down the beach, basically, if you're listening. Yeah, so here's where he ended. So you can okay. see he just, he just took a turn. And looks like he ended right there. They forgot, they forgot to blur out that guy there. <laughs> the guy's um, hitting his head like, what's going on here? Yeah, um, so Let's see how far down he walked. I'm just curious now. Well, I want to show a, a really cool trick, too, to find good fishing spots. But Whoa, we, this, this guy, guy was like really a cool. serious hiker here. Um, Maybe he had to like tag a tag a friend or something. Yeah, he went all the way down to this point. That is a long way. All right, so we'll uh, so a good way for those who don't know how to measure distance. So I right click on any spot, click the measure distance from the little uh, selection box from the window, and then the next click you do, it'll tell you how far it is. So he went 4.5 miles. Pretty good. Go tell him how heavy that backpack was. Not a bad little walk. Yeah, with that camera. I right, go back to the actual inlet. Yep. It, uh, it, that, uh, I guess, South Pier. South Jetty. Jetty. Terms, right. And, and so when you click on there, when you hover over it, there's little, there's little dots. And those are specific spots that they have actually taken a picture. This is a static picture. And so you can look around to see exactly what the, the end of the jetty looks like. So in this case, right, we have this nice cement structure with railings. And then you can see the rocks go out just a little bit further than the actual, you know, the, the place that you're allowed to go. You're not allowed to go on these rocks. Yep. I um, mean, you can see the current is just ripping across here. This this inlet is uh, is a dangerous inlet for boat navigation. The current just totally cranks through there. But a great fishing area. Yep. So yeah, pretty cool. It's really amazing that you can get all this information without ever stepping foot in Sebastian. So here's the tip. If you've been fishing on piers, you know that there are locals who have the place pretty dialed in like you, Joe, our friend, Joe Antonelli, if you guys don't know who that is, he's got a popular YouTube channel and he's done uh, some videos with us and even a course. So this is, yeah, Luke, Luke's hitting it here. So th these guys, they kind of know where the structure is, right? I mean, they fish there for, in some cases, years. Sometimes these guys are there literally five out of seven days and they're fishing the same spots. It's almost like they have their own little area. It's, 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 they know the structure's there. They know the, the fish are there. They, they have it pretty dialed in. And th this gives you the ability, especially depending on what day the person is filming a pier or a jetty, and you're going to get to kind of see where the locals are, right? So if you see all of them bunched up in one area, look at all these boats over here, right? If you see all of these boats, I mean, literally are in one area, if you guys are watching this, and same with the fishermen, they're all kind of like really in a couple small areas. That gives you an idea of, all right, these are probably some of the, the best spots. Uh, or there might be some structure right there below these guys. They probably know something if they're all bunched in there to, together. Uh, and same with the boats, right? I mean, how crazy is that? There's literally five boats and there's no boats anywhere else. So they're clearly on some school of probably Red Drum or or, uh, or, or Snook sitting right there underneath them. Uh, yeah. It's a it's mm -hmm. a cool way to kind of get an idea of where where you should be fishing. But before we oversell this, uh, this is the best thing on earth and that all you have to do is look at these maps. So the, the problem with it is that yeah. you don't know exactly when the picture was taken. So right. 
this is a good example because on this on this um, this picture, it's showing the the north jetty of Sebastian Inlet is showing it closed off for, for whatever reason. The north point was closed at this at this given time, and that's not always the case. I don't believe it's closed now. I could be wrong, but it, this is not um, the problem. Is that it's not date stamped is is the is the issue. So um, some of these obviously none of these photos are going to be like as of right now. It's not it, be. Look up at the top left. Is is it says March twenty seventeen? Is that right? Street View, top left. Oh, okay, sweet. It is. It is a uh, sweet. So that, that that was a time I you could tell they're doing some repairs there. It looked like there was even some like some panels missing. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, that's Luke. Luke hit it on the nail on the head. So, but that is cool too. Look, top left. Uh, I just happened to be looking around and saw a date, and and it does show the date. And so that at least give oh, you yeah. an idea. Wow, okay. So cool. This yeah. Is so this is June two thousand fourteen. So. So yeah, so we at least can't see the date, but you know that's that's a pretty good ways off. I don't know how frequently they're gonna update these pictures. I mean, they, they obviously had to hire some guy to literally go hike down all the way down the beach with a huge backpack on him, and it has to be pretty weird to be that person who's going down. A lot of people don't like their picture taken, and <laughs> he's literally just filming nonstop for miles and miles of uh, of of shorelines. So um, yeah, pretty. But it's just it's just again just to just to see the topography, right? I mean, this this pier isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The rocks aren't going anywhere. Just really cool to see just how this stuff is uh, is 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 uh, sitting there. Yep. In where you can go, where you can and can't go, knowing yeah. that it's not going to be perfect. Absolutely. Um, how cool is that? So yeah, to kind of recap, this is this is kind of part one is that little dude. He's a yellowish kind of orangish. I don't know what, what color that is. Uh, bottom right of any any if you're on maps.google or google.maps.com uh, he'll always be down there if you're on satellite view and you just drag them you take your little cursor and you drag that sucker anywhere and dots will start popping up go to that one that was in the water look on the northwest side uh look, yeah there's a dot like there in the water did that guy go out in the jetty i think that's uh yeah i mean that wasn't in the water he was just there's a there's a, okay. a little pond basically uh, in the inland, so he just walked out close to the water. So this is a low tide. You can see, you know, you can see all these uh, all these shells and stuff that are exposed of the oyster. Let's take some oyster shells. Birds are down here feeding. Right, this is just a dead low tide. So some kids playing out here, catching catching bait and stuff. Um, so yeah, he wasn't just in the water. He was he w walked out. Yeah, you can see his shadow. <laughs> Yep. So that's funny. so cool. There's another another one you can learn from that. I mean, you see all those people, the guys, two people had cast nets. So like, okay, cool. At low tide, this is a place I could potentially get bait. I mean, there's so many cool little things you can learn if you just uh, do a little study uh, and look at this so stuff. This, so this is the first I've ever seen of what? a kayaker doing, taking pictures. That's now, where was crazy. that? I just happened to see some of these blue dots out here. And so there's literally a kayaker that um that had a camera as well so this is june so june 2019 so that's more recent oh and it shows his name chris lynch chris lynch <laughs> from sebastian thank you chris that's lynch. amazing yeah you can see his wife up there in front of him in the kayak like i would not have uh so they must have gone on a little kayak tour that you can't really get too much inside out of this though because i mean you can kind of see the water clarity on this given day um I don't know, i'm a little bit less excited about those pictures it's just cool it's just like again it's just amazing to see wow so and so i didn't know about this so all luke did was he just kept dragging that little dude to see what kind of blue dots and lines would pop up and this is cool like if you're if you want to go camp for instance you could actually pick out your your campsite here um this is something that you know our parents are big into the rv and camping and, uh, and they're using this tool to do that is to, hey, I want to check out a campsite. Our youngest brother is in a wheelchair. I want to see how close we can get to, to bathrooms or any places that might have any uh, wheelchair ramps, et cetera. Uh, so this is really, really cool to, to be able to even do some exploring on, uh, on, on campsites. And, and if you're having to be traveling, uh, man, this is so awesome. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So uh, the other thing that I wanted to highlight, as far as the usage case for this, is uh, is you know we have a lot of uh, a lot of kayakers um, in our in our membership, in our, in our insider club, and a, a big part on kayak fishing is is just knowing where you can and can't launch a, a kayak, and then how difficult is it, right? Because it's, obviously it's much easier to to launch on a flat sandy shoreline than it is going down like a rock jetty, <laughs> you know, a, a rock jetty that at a steep angle. 
And so these, the same tool can be used. So we've skipped over to the Gulf Coast. Um, the reason why I skipped over here because I used this in a recent trip I had. I've never been, I've never fished Venice before. And I had, a, I had a little bit of time and I was gonna be going through that area. So I decided to just throw the paddleboard in the truck. And then I got on this map, did this exact same thing. I dragged this yellow guy off to the jetty to see what it looked like. You know, can I launch off of this? And that's a pretty steep decline with a bunch of rocks. So that is not a good spot to, uh, to launch. But again, a cool thing, we can literally just go walk along and it looks like it ends pretty close. So you can walk along and see at least what it looks like. Then we can exit back out and then we can drag our person up over a little bit further. You can see some dots. Actually, let me, uh, let me just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So zoom in, I wanted to see, okay, what does this shoreline look like? I can see the rocks here clearly. This looks more like sand. And to know for sure, we just drag a guy over. Fortunately, somebody was there and took some pictures. And now I have validation that perfect. This is like the best possible launch site for a kayak or paddleboard. It's flat sand, there's no rocks, there's no oysters, and you can park right here. So just from this one picture, uh, all of my hesitations to go were totally solved. And look up at the top left, it's May 2020. So oh, we know it's a little bit more, uh, more recent as, uh, as well. And yeah. Um, yeah, we've done this for members too, you know, like we, we had uh, that gym in Alabama, remember that? He was kind of struggling. We're like, man, like we never even fished that part of Alabama in our lives. And in five minutes, you solved this problem for him. Like, hey, dude, here's a place you literally can go wade fishing. Here's structure. There's going to be water moving in. You want to go to this this tide, use this lure. And the guy caught a couple nice red fish. Uh, I mean, it, this this is not cheating per se, but it's pretty doggone close. I mean, it's it's the ultimate advantage. Um, but you want to drop the the dude in the water too? Oh, I think Luki uh, might have froze up on us. Luke, are you still there? Luke, you are my brother. Well, Luke might be having technical difficulties, and unfortunately, I can't get on here and uh, and hijack his uh, screen because he's still sharing it. So we're going to pray Luke gets back. But the other thing I was going at here was the ability. We kind of touched on it earlier where you can actually drop that little dude Oh, Luke just completely dropped, speaking of that. So you can actually drop that little guy uh, on the water. And, and, and obviously, as long as that line is there, and now you've got an actual boat view. So now they're taking like legit bay boats with that little 360 camera up on top. And, and they're, uh, they're filming all that stuff. So Luke's texting me here. Guys, this is what happens. My computer just shut down. Say, so, okay, I'm still on. You guys are going to get to see exactly what happens behind the scenes, even when things screw up. But uh, I thought that was so cool because what that's enabling you to do is to now, you know, use the online satellite maps the way they were originally were intended, right? How fishermen have been using them at least is, is to at least look at the area, try to find some structure, get an idea, pick out three to five spots that you're going to be fishing right? And then now you can take it a step further because that was really the last step you could really do. You could obviously, uh, if, you, if you didn't listen to the last episode, please do. It was all about how to use the tides and smartfishingtides.com and the wind and the weather, et cetera, to actually maximize that spot. But now you can take it a step further, assuming there's those little blue lines or blue dots. And you can actually go see what that area looks like. You can actually, in many cases, see what the structure is, especially if that boat happened to be going by at, uh, at, at low tide. But even if it's high tide, you get to see what it looks like. And to me, that takes away so much of the, the this kind of the scariness, right? Because we've all been there. Uh, Luke's back. We've all been there where you, you see something on a, on a satellite map and it looks good, and it looks easy, right? Because when you zoom in, like, oh, man, like, this this is so easy. And then all of a sudden, you get there in real life, and it looks completely different. It's overwhelming. It's just like, oh, my gosh, this looks nothing like what I saw on the map. And now, if Luke can pull the satellite map back up, now with this, this kind of boat navigation where they're going down all the major waterways and then through any main channels, you actually get to get, like, a real idea – uh, like you're sitting on top of a boat and, uh, and, and seeing exactly what is uh, out there. I think it's just, it's a game changer because it's, it's now taking your pre-trip planning 
to, to a whole new level. And, and in many cases, will help you either eliminate the, the spot or spots that you had picked out in your pre-trip planning like we did on the last episode, or it's going to help you like lock it in and say, yeah, like, man, this is a money spot. I'm definitely going here first. So Luke's got the, the map back up. We uh, had a slight technical difficulty there, but yeah, yeah, computer shut down. And um, and just to show how important this is, so uh, in this case, when I went, when I was exploring this area, I, I knew the latest trends, and so I was just looking for the right type of spot based on the latest trends, and one of which was right here at this point, based on the tides and how the wind was doing, and so that was really why I started looking down here, and I literally paddled over, not far at all, right? We can measure the distance. Very short paddle. In my very first cast, I hooked a snook. So in a brand new area, never been to before. I didn't have to like ask anybody where I could fish. I didn't have to, to beg for spots. I literally just took the trends that we've been reporting in the community, used the map to find a launch point that was close to some good spots. And in a short paddle in one cast, um, you know, had some results. So just the power of these maps is, is crazy. As long as you know how to use them, and as long as you know the, the feeding trends to apply to the maps. Definitely go listen to the last episode if you, uh, if you haven't about the ultimate pre-trip plan. I guess it was two episodes ago. Uh, Luke, drop the dude down and let's see. Let's see how. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the boat kind of started at the, at the pass. Yeah. Here's, here's the boat part. So I guess you introduced it while I was. Uh, while yeah. I was introduced there. it, but I couldn't hijack your map because it was still on your screen. <laughs> So yeah, so that so now when I drag that little same little yellow guy, there's some there's some trails in the water, and so I just um, I just drop the guy on that trail, and now we can see a boat. This is a legit boat. It looks like the the uh, the camera is mounted on a t top, and so just like a road view, I can literally just start clicking on the map in the direction that I want to go, assuming that there's a trail there, and and we can go. We can go that direction. I can pan over to the the left. I want us to check out this the shoreline. All right, if I want to go up here and check out these mangroves, I can just keep clicking on them. And the boat will go up pretty close. Y'all at the driver to tell them to turn those, the only bad news. Yeah. But it is, it's close. a 360 degree camera, so you can move it anywhere you want to from that mm -hmm. boat. Yeah, we can see, you know, how the seawall looks, right? If there's a lot of barnacles on it for sheep's head. Um, it's just, there's um, just such an enormous amount of information that you can get from this. So and again, Luke, real, go back there real quick. I wanted to, to do one more thing on there and that's the date. So top left again, you're getting to see how, how, uh, yes, yeah, so this is what called the waterway view, June, 2019. Um, so that was this summer. I mean, that wasn't that long ago. So this is uh, this is new and you're going to see a whole lot more of this. Go, go exit back out. Let's see. What's that? We can even go in reverse. Oh, dang. It is like yelling at the driver, back up, Bob, back up. I lost my hat. I lost my hat and fell off. Hey, yeah, um, let's check out the island too. I mean, this is, uh, again, you can just see exactly what's happening. Pretty, uh, pretty amazing. So you can, re you can actually reverse the boat. If you guys are listening, we've just reversed the boat yep. uh, all with a click of a mouse. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, click back uh, out real quick. Let's see how far this guy went. I might even yeah, have to see. It looks uh, like there, for whatever reason, there's a gap right here, but I mean, you can go pretty far inland. That was where his wife was yelling at him and like knocked the camera <laughs> off. <laughs> let's uh, let's see how far inland it goes. Wow, he goes all the way up. This Holy smokes! Right here. So right, again, street view, right? If you want to see the street view, drop it on the street. It's the same exact principle, and it's just amazing how much data they're providing. I think. I mean, think how much storage space this stuff takes it's remarkable it is absolutely remarkable uh zoom zoom pretty far out and let's see like it does it keep going all the way up the whole intracoastal there and let's see i got a little bit too far there kind of tough. oh oh you're on someone's porch that's Where's hilarious that? i literally look like i'm in somebody's porch right there the, and the door's open this is creepy dude yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's not the good thing like, get out we'll hop out of there yeah let's uh reporting a murder here on google maps <laughs> yeah so it looks like so those waterways so the waterways are, are not in like the sarasota bay area um, yet yet yeah yeah so they're, they're not everywhere is, is a bad thing but what is everywhere is, is the road view and then a lot of like pretty much most of the parks of like the public parks um they have you know, they have people who have, who have walked them and taken pictures because you, you can see, you know, it's, it's remarkable. 
And again, yep. stuff like this, this information's uh, you know, totally free. And there's multiple mapping platforms. So Google is just the easiest to use and that's why we use it. But also, I mean, if you're really serious about using maps and especially if you're traveling to, to uh, different areas, like my, one of my personal favorite things to do is just to go to new areas and explore new waters while fishing and, uh, and just take the challenge of trying to catch, some, catch a slam while doing that. And the maps are crucial. And so I, I look at Google a lot. I look at Google Earth Pro, look at MapQuest, Bing. There's a variety of them. And part of the, um, of the main course for the membership, uh, you know, insider members, called the Finding Spots Mastery. And it goes through the pros and cons of each one and, and obviously how to use them just to maximize your results. So if you want to get serious about it, that's the best way to learn is just to go through those courses, through those lessons. So I just pulled it up real quick. Google has, I'm going to let you guess, guess how many people Google has, how many employees Google has working just on Google Maps? Just on Google Maps. This is, Amer this is America. In America, um, 5,000. 7,100 people. Pretty good. That's crazy. So we're talking about like, a bi I mean, definitely a billion dollar uh, part of their business that is nuts and it's only going to keep getting better and just like we talked about on the the jetties and the piers if you're starting to see a lot of people in one area you can do the same thing on uh, on this waterway view or this beach view if you start seeing a lot of boats especially if you start seeing like boats that are wrapped sorry captains but i mean if you do see some boats that are that are wrapped that are captains fishing you know certain areas that probably lets you know, hey, that, that is a good area. It doesn't mean it's a good area every day, which is what we hammer home all the time. It's all based on trends, but at least gives you an idea that, hey, this, this is a place that holds fish. Now it's up to you to use the trends, to use everything that our insider members get, to use smart fishing tides, and to use the smart fishing game plan every week to, to dial it in and make sure that that actual spot's going to be good for that period of time. Uh, but it is, I mean, all, all, every little bit helps uh, every bits, a little bit's a little bit of a shortcut. Luke's sitting here trying to find a place to eat lunch here now. Yeah, you, trying you to doing? see how prevalent the, the, the boat views are. So the boat views are not very prevalent. It looks like there are a lot of people who have um, taken pictures on hikes and stuff. So there's a street view. It looks like they're, that's just somebody took a picture of their, of their kid. Are they allowing there. anyone to upload stuff on this? It must be. Yeah. I mean, it looks like these are just, um, I think anybody can just post a pic and pin it. I wonder how they yeah. check that. I, I can only imagine some people, um, um, maybe some teenagers. This is how my mind thinks of like, you know, kind of doing like mooning the camera and stuff in the spot. And <laughs> Google puts it up there. Yeah. Oh, two teenage sure sure salt strong there. brothers sitting there pulling their pants down and showing their butt cheeks on camera. Sure. There's a vetting process for, uh, <laughs> for those sorts. But, uh, but yeah, pretty good, pretty cool. So, yeah, so we just wanted to share this with you. This is, um, you know, obviously a lot of the stuff was, was, has been there for a while, but that boat view in particular was the one that, that I didn't, at least I didn't know about until recently. And I've been spending a lot of time on this map. So I have to imagine it's relatively new. Head over to Fort Lauderdale. Let's see like if they're doing it over there on, on that side. I have to imagine they pick some bigger kind of busier cities and waterways. Yeah, I wonder like, I wonder how, how deep or how, how zoomed in you have to go. Yeah. There's the waterway right there. Right. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, the bigger, I'm sure the bigger cities are the first to have it. Yeah. I wonder if we'll, maybe we'll see boat. a lunker dog over here. It's a big boat. Yeah, it's a much bigger boat. Whoa. Whoa that's a real big boat. Cruise ship. Yeah. So uh, let's see, let's see if lunker dogs up here fishing. Uh, that would be funny. <laughs> Our boy, captain Jeff. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. It is, it is just remarkable how much information is actually out there. The waterway view coming to a waterway near you man look at these yachts so and if you happen to have a yacht and you're trying to save a little bit of money because your 35 million dollar yacht is uh is eating up a lot of your uh your budget then you could obviously use this to see where you could park that bad boy you ever seen a, a little st staircase like this this is like attached to the back of the boat it's just going out to it's like a dive platform or something yeah, it could be uh, Carson there, I think might have been a, a, a high diver in the Olympics. <laughs> That's amazing. Said we are gonna have now I don't I don't I mean it seems like it should be for like the dinghy to unload people. I don't I don't know, but 
can't imagine that's a diving board, is it? Diving platform? I mean, I don't know what else. It is. Yeah, it's just weird. It's fixed. I mean, it's attached to the boat. Crazy. That's crazy. Trying to the stuff on. you'll see. I mean, we could spend all day looking at this stuff. Oh, so that, it looks like it goes to the boat yard. It goes to where, like, Captain Jeff launches his, uh, his boat. That'd be so fun if we saw him on here. And there is a crazy amount of money. It's a beast. Yeah, just uh, it's it's just amazing. Like it really is amazing how much stuff is there. Cool. Well, let's uh, play around with it uh, offline. We'll uh, we'll end this, but we wanted to share it with you. Uh, we, we had mentioned it to a few uh, a few of our friends. Like, man, I had no idea that was even on there. And uh, and it is, and it is amazing what you can see. And he's about to go up to the. There's a boat ramp up here, I and mean, you can see all that stuff. Obviously, you can see it from yeah, the normal Google. Map. There's a public boat ramp back here somewhere. Yeah, you can see it from normal Google Maps as uh, as well by dropping your dude down. But now you get to see what it looks like. If you kick one to the end of there, that little river is, is a restaurant. You can see, you know, what kind of parking you got there. Um, so cool. There it is. All right. No. Somewhere around there. I, I think it's right behind you. I think it's right back there. That's where our boy Lunker Dog uh, puts in. Um, but guys, hopefully this was uh, helpful. We'll do more as, uh, as, as we see more, we're on this every, pretty much every single day is how we're noticing, you know, some of these new lines and, and dots and stuff being, uh, being dropped down. And, uh, it, it really is just such an advantage to the fishermen, uh, especially for all of us who are, who are busy. And, and speaking of that, I mean, that's really the, the number one thing that we solved for in the Insider Club. But the reason it started was to help you save time. We do a little 10-minute smart fishing game plan every Friday. Uh, I, I know one of my members yesterday was saying, hey, I'm going, I'm going fishing. I'm waiting for Luke to do the 10-minute the uh, game plan where you know, Luke basically curates everything out there, including his own personal experiences on the water every day. But all of our members, all of our coaches, and, and puts it into 10 minutes on on the type of spot not the gps spot but hey if you want to catch an inshore slam here are the exact type of spots that you want to be hitting i'm talking about depth and everything else based on uh, on the trends and the wind and the weather here's where you want to go catch an inshore slam so we'd love to have you join us there so that's that's really number one thing we saw for number two is, is saving you money so number one is time and then two is money and we have 20% discounts or more. We're going to start doing some 30% discounts coming up here for uh, this uh, fourth quarter for the holidays, uh, especially on some of our own stuff like our, our Slam Shadies, et cetera. So um, Insider members, get ready. You're going to be saving a ton of money, hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, this, uh, this, hopefully just this last quarter for, uh, for Christmas time. Uh, which, you know, pays for your membership right there just in, uh, in tackle savings. So pumped to have that, pumped to have a lot more stuff coming in. It's been nuts with, with COVID. I mean, everyone, I mean, went into a Bass Pro not too long ago. I mean, they were just out of everything. Everyone is, it just can't get any inventory. It's, it's been really crazy, but it's slowly happening. And uh, there's about to be a big windfall of new rods, new reels, new lures, lines, all kinds of accessories coming in. So we're really, really pumped. So yep, yes, yeah, so we'll have those. And most importantly, we'll show you exactly how to use them. And yes. then the the most, most important thing is where to use them, right? Where the fish are, where is the feeding zone? When you find that feeding zone, that 10% of the water where 90% of the fish are feeding, the lures and gear you use are not nearly as important as any as they would otherwise be. So that's that's always our goal is get you in that feeding zone. Yep. And then maybe even have you wear a long sleeve performance shirt, one for sun protection and two to keep the goosebumps down because you're going to be catching so many fish and seeing so many tailings, tailing red. So all about hiding those goosebumps. Guys, it's been fun. Hopefully this was a helpful one. We are out. We are going to go do some fishing ourselves here um, over the next few, a few days. So all you insider members are going to have some cool stuff coming up. If you're not an insider member, ha, ha, you're missing out. Come join us. Saltstrong.com. You can go right there at the top and say, join the club 365 days risk free. That's at saltstrong.com. Go over there, check us out, join the club 16,000 plus strong. And we have an amazing and super tight and super positive online community. You can get it from your phone, tablet, computer, laptop, desktop, whatever. Uh, it is awesome. I spend a lot of time in there every day. I'm, it's now taken over my Facebook. Uh, I, I, I've 
someone to mention like, man, I tagged you on Facebook. It's like, I'm not even in Facebook anymore. I'm in the community. Especially that's, now with all the politics. That's oh, the last man. place I, I want to be. Jeez. Yeah, we do not allow politics or cursing or negativity or belittling. It's a really uplifting, fun place. It's just people talking about fishing and putting fishing pictures and, and reports on there. So come join us, saltstorm.com. Otherwise, we'll talk to you on the next episode. Peace. We out.